Greetings, traveller. I am a wandering harmonica player. Now that your melody has been added to the islands, what kind of song will play? Outside, but I'm too sick. It's all that white stuff falling from the sky. That's what made me ill. Seems you had something of a hard time of it today. Are you alright? No serious wounds? I don't like it when you act as though nothing's wrong. It tends to make me worry even more. The times when you look the most sure of yourself are when I know you're about to do something reckless. My mum used to tell me that as well. Oh, I'm sorry. That's really quite insensitive of me. It's okay. You've brought back some happy memories. Hey, Zael! Have a drink on me! <laughs> <laughs> wow, Seren. This must be record time. <laughs> what, you think I'm drunk? Look, I'm as sober as whatever's normally sober. Anyway, get some alcohol in ya. I'm a bit lost here. Saran does appear to have become slightly incoherent. Look, if you're not drinking, then I'll have to get another drink. What? Oh, Zale. While I was at the bar, you turned into a rather handsome chap. Why? What? Why? But I'll tell you something about handsome chaps, Zale. Right? Being handsome's not enough for them. They're all shallow chaps, lying chaps, cheating chaps. And if they're handsome on top, I'm supposed to fall for them. And I know one handsome chap who's all three. Oh, look! There he is. Hey, at least you admit I'm handsome. See what a horrible flirt he is? Don't you dare turn into that, Zale. Don't turn into a raging alcoholic like her, either. <laughs> I'm glad I have so many good role models. Hey, hello. It's true, you are the most beautiful woman I have ever laid eyes on. You've melted my battle-hardened heart. I feel like a new man. Would you like to order a drink? Just being near you fills me with light and magic and joy. I'll 
come back when you've decided what you want to drink. Hey, I... <sighs> Looks like that one will be a challenge. But I like a challenge. What do you think, Zell? You're still a kid, so you don't know yet. Even a girl as cold as that can fall madly in love. Giggling, swooning, the lot. Don't you feel something special when you think about it? In a special place? I'll just leave you to it. Are those banknotes all from different countries? Wow. Travellers put them there as a good luck charm. Means they'll get back here safe. Not all of them do, of course. But I'll keep the tavern in business, so they can come back when they like. You're showing us all up, Dagrin. No, just being paranoid. I've got to keep my sword in top shape. Can't relax otherwise. That doesn't make you paranoid. It does make you a bit of a worry, Walt. How long ago did we start up our band of mercenaries? You and me are the only ones still standing from back then. I know. Hey, kid. You on your own? Same as me, then. Well, come on. Come with me. Balancing on the edge of a knife. That's how we live our lives. I'm not gonna make you live like this forever, Zayon. I promise you. The first chance we get, we're moving up in the world. Hmm. We've all lost a lot in the war. Things that were important to us. But we'll get them back. Yeah. You said something the day we decided to become mercenaries. We'll all be knights one day. You'll see. I've never forgotten those words. Me neither. And this job could be our break. Count Arganen is very ambitious. Rumor has it he's quietly building up an army, and I don't mean to quell the monsters. If we show him what we can do, that could be us he's recruiting. We'll do it. Yeah. We will. Hmm. Any thoughts? It's a mystery. But that must have been some kind of sacred place you stumbled on. Maybe the guardian angel of Lazarus Island is looking out for you. There's a guardian angel? Nope. I just made it up. But I do feel like our luck is changing. I hope so, anyway.
Hmm. I like the look in your eye. You after any rare foreign weapons? If so, then I'm your woman. You and me are both outsiders in the city. Just have to live with it, I guess. Oh, Zale, are you heading out? Here's the money we earned today. I'll leave it in your hands. Come on, Zale. You're not a kid anymore. Well, never mind that. Take a look around the city. I'll see you out there later. South of the castle spread Lazulus City, hub of culture and trade. Naturally, it drew all manner of visitors from across the empire. Sailors, merchants, traveling entertainers and knights errant, and of course, mercenaries. All were drawn to the city by the lure of fame and fortune. Yet only a lucky few would ever taste the success they longed for. <laughs> 